However, on religious issues there can be little or no compromise. There is no position on which people are so immovable as their religious beliefs. There is no more powerful ally one can claim in a debate than Jesus Christ, or God, or Allah, or whatever one calls the Supreme Being. But like any powerful weapon, the use of God's name on one's behalf should be used sparingly. The religious factions that are growing throughout our land are not using their religious clout with wisdom. They are trying to force government leaders into following their position 100%. If you disagree with these religious groups on a particular moral issue, they complain, they threaten you with a loss of money or votes, or both. I'm frankly sick and tired of the political preachers across this country telling me, as a citizen, that if I want to be a moral person, I must believe in A, B, C, and D. Just who do they think they are? And from where do they presume to claim the right to dictate their moral beliefs to me? And I am even more angry as a legislator who must endure the threats of every religious group who thinks it has some God-granted right to control my vote on every roll call in the Senate. I am warning them today. I will fight them every step of the way if they try to dictate their moral convictions to all Americans in the name of conservatism. That was said by Barry Goldwater, a U.S. Senator from Arizona, a Republican U.S. Senator from Arizona, and it is from the Congressional Record of September 16, 1981. Once upon a time, the Republican Party was the party that stayed out of people's personal lives. That changed with the hijacking of the party by the religious right. Goldwater called them a bunch of kooks. Goldwater was once the grand old man of the grand old party, but he's invoked little today for obvious reasons. Goldwater supported gay rights and the right to choose. There are still Republicans that remember that era. I think groups like the Log Cabin Party are trying to hearken back to it. I wish them good luck.